Welcome, brothers and sisters, to Mother and Refuge of the End Times, a message of the Most Holy Virgin Mary to Luz de Maria, April 23, 2024. Beloved children of my Immaculate Heart, receive my blessings and my maternal love. Dear children, I call upon each of you to individually to examine yourself again regarding your personal works and behavior. My Divine Son calls you to renew yourselves inwardly. It is urgent that you convert now. Time and time again I have called you to conversion. My children do not want to obey. They ignore my calls and continue to scorn my Divine Son. This disobedience generates greater suffering for humanity. The madness from which this generation suffers is that of refusing to walk towards my Divine Son. Beloved children, remain on spiritual alert. Nourish yourselves with the good. Protect yourselves spiritually. Receive my Divine Son duly prepared. Wish good to your brothers and sisters and practice good at all times. Galatians chapter 6 verses 9 and 10 This is necessary for you at this time when you are continually being attacked by the devil and his minions. Faith must maintain a strong, firm foundation so that it would not fail in the face of daily trials. Beloved children, disease is coming closer to you. It will spread until it infects as many human beings as possible. The disease is highly and rapidly contagious, so air travel and all types of public transport will be affected because of the contagion. I have called you to use the oil of Good Samaritan and Calendula to prevent the propagation of this disease, which will spread to so many of my children. It will begin with fever and bodily discomfort. There will be a strong cough, and then small wounds will appear on the skin, and these become larger wounds, this being the indicator of this disease. It is a variant of leprosy that will affect my children, and it will continue to develop in this way until the body is affected in its entirety if you do not hurry to take the appropriate measures. Children of my heart, War is going to occur, and at this moment preparations for it are happening on a large scale behind the backs of the majority of my children. Humanity will taste the bitterness of this tragedy, precipitating famine and greater violence among human beings. Beloved children of my Immaculate Heart, great onslaught of nature will occur one after the other throughout the earth. The elements will not wait, and in one place and another they will purify the human race in their eagerness to wash away so much sin that humanity is allowing to befall the earth. Humanity's astonishment will be immense on seeing how powerful nations possess weapons which have not been made known and which misused science has created. Dear children, My beloved angel of peace suffers on seeing and feeling the lovelessness of this generation, which has distorted the very word, love, giving it a selfish meaning, a sense of possession, of personal interest, of debauchery, of pride. Love in families is subject to convenience. Love in couples is dominated by superiority and selfishness. Love towards your brothers and sisters is blocked by seeking pride of place. Love has been deformed by personal interest and the lack of material transparency. I therefore call on you, little children, to maintain the love of God and neighbor just as you love your own selves. Love keeps the flame of my divine Son active within you, and because of its lack, My beloved angel of peace is suffering, suffering for the human race. Pray, children, pray. The earth will continue to shake in one place and another. Pray for China and Taiwan. They will suffer from stronger movements of the earth. Pray, children, pray. Chile and Ecuador should prepare themselves. The earth will shake with great force. 
Spain will suffer. Pray, my children, pray. My children, the time is near. There will be another attack in the midst of silence. Pray, my children, pray. In the face of so much evil that has become entrenched in humanity. Pray, my children, pray for Mexico, the United States, Russia. The earth will shake strongly. Pray, my children, pray for Australia, Nicaragua, and Costa Rica. Their soil will shake. War increases. Nations will provoke one another and total war will be unleashed throughout the world. In the face of confusion, a nation will act hastily and the undesirable will occur. What pain, what lamentation, how my children will suffer because of disobedience. You cannot imagine the terrible trial that the human race is imposing on itself. These will be the times of labor pains. One part of humanity keeps my divine son in its heart, and another part offends him to the point of sacrilege. The disease of spiritual denial has arrived, and there will be persecution. Remain attentive so that you do not fall to the temptations of evil. The relics of Christianity will be desecrated by the hordes of the devil. Children, maintain faith, hope, and charity towards your brothers. In the most unthinkable moments, give thanks and pray. Being more loving, more fraternal, more like my divine Son. Without fear, tread safely. Legions of angels are guarding you under the command of my beloved St. Michael the Archangel and this mother. Attending to the supplications of each one of you, I will allow you to feel my closeness. My divine Son consoles you and gives you signs and signals so that you remain sure that He is with His children and constantly protects you. My divine Son will give heavenly manna so that you would not surrender to diabolical hands on account of hunger. Always maintain your faith. My divine Son will not allow the earth to be destroyed. He will come beforehand with His power and will stop humanity's madness. I bless you. I love you. Do not fear the things of the world. Fear offending my divine Son, Mother Mary. Hail Mary, most pure, conceived without sin. Hail Mary, most pure, conceived without sin. Hail Mary, most pure, conceived without sin. The Commentary of Luz de Maria Brothers and sisters, our mother has revealed to us that the lack of love will bring the most serious consequences. In the absence of good, evil takes hold of many human beings, and we will see what we previously believed to be a fantasy. Counterfeit love will lead to the suffering of humanity, The uncertainty of what is approaching will succeed in weakening human faith because it is a momentary faith, whereas heaven has called us to strengthen our faith to be more spiritual. Knowledge is good when it's used for good, but knowledge for the sake of taking pride in place before one's brothers and sisters weakens faith and leads to spiritual decay. Therefore, let us know Christ to avoid what we can avoid. Let us know Christ and be closer to Him and our mother so as to suffer out of love, not out of fear. As a loving mother and one concerned for her children, the Blessed Virgin has recommended that we use the Good Samaritan oil and calendula from now on and thereby prepare ourselves to better face the disease when it appears. In the end, Christ will be victorious and the Immaculate Heart of Mary will triumph. Let us do our part. Let us be creatures of faith, hope, and charity, born of love of the Holy Trinity. Amen. Thank you for your support. May God bless you and keep you, and may the Immaculate Heart of Mary be your refuge. Please stay and join us for prayers and devotions. Hi, 
My name is Patricia Fahey Brower, and I'm the founder and owner of a company called Labore Metals. The purpose of my company is to push the edge of technology to produce high quality works of art in metal. Inspired by visionary St. Catherine Labore, I am looking to fulfill my call as a daughter of Mary and to create metals that truly reflect the beauty of God and his creation. The metals produced by Labore Metals are products of hard work, creativity, and prayer. The metals are at the cutting edge of the latest CNC production in metal. I work with 3D artists and manufacturers to produce amazing metals. Currently, I am producing works for Father Calloway and am focused on helping him spread devotion to St. Joseph. Everything involved in Labore Metals is for charity. I strive to serve God through this company and have given everything that I have to our Blessed Mother from beginning to end. Labore Metals proudly presents its mother and child medal. We are asking for viewers to help support the mission of Father Donald Calloway by purchasing one of these exquisitely beautiful medals from our Etsy store. All proceeds will be going to Father Donald Calloway and his ministry. Thank you for your support.